Senator Clark will go ahead and call the uh, January 18, 2010, Decatur County Board of Commissioners meeting to order. Commissioner, please have the reading of the minutes. Decatur County Commissioners open the January 3, 2011 meeting with the following president, Truman Union President. Oops. John Richards, President, Truman Union Personality. <coughs> Bridget Weber, Auditor. <coughs> December 20th, 2010, meeting minutes were approved as amended. Mark Moore, Highway Superintendent, requests that all bids received on December 20th be accepted for 2011. Mr. Nobby moved to accept all fuel, stone, sand, and culvert pipe as presented. Mr. Union second, and Mr. Richards concurred. Storage of bridge 18 and 19 <coughs> discussed, and location possibilities were also discussed. No decisions were made at this time. Hugh Miller, EMA Director, provided a report of emergency management. Nothing further to come before the commissioners. Mr. Buchanan moved to recess. Mr. Nobby second. Mr. Richards concur. Is there any additions or corrections? Same thing just corrected. What more? Yeah, I just have one topic today uh, concerning Bridge 2 on 421. Um, if you guys remember, we submitted that to NDOT and uh, were accepted. At uh, the time that we submitted that bridge, it had a sufficiency rating of 50.5. Uh, at that point in time, it only qualified for rehabilitation. Uh, once we were accepted through NDOT, um, the sufficiency rating on that bridge went down considerably, which put it in a, a category where it was eligible for replacement. I think Jerome was with me at the, an NDOT meeting. Uh, that we talked to them a little bit uh, and questioned them the fact that we were approved for a, a rehabilitation project. And they pretty much told us that uh, once we get started on this, if it turned into a replacement project, uh, it would be something that they would entertain and most likely we wouldn't have any problems. Uh, today I've got uh, Seth and Tom from RW Armstrong who was awarded the contract uh, to design the bridge. Um, they have a contract today, I believe, uh, we're going in and doing a preliminary inspection on that bridge to see what direction uh, we're going to get the best name for the uh, So with that said, uh, I'll sort of turn it over to them and let them explain the contract just a little bit more. Is this, is this okay? All right. Uh, the contract, as Mark mentioned, the contract is for us to perform a, an in-depth inspection of the bridge, a field inspection of the bridge. Uh, we'll do kind of condition appraisal of the bridge, figure out, like you said, um, the current condition of the bridge, and then we'll go back in the office, analyze the information so that we can determine if the bridge can be rehabilitated as it currently stands. As Mark mentioned, the sufficient, sufficiency rating is low enough that it obviously needs repair. Um, We'll compare the cost and work required to do rehabilitation with the cost and work required to replace the bridge. So there's the two options, rehabilitation and replacement. Um, as Mark mentioned, you want to get the most bang for your buck. Uh, the federal requirements for a historic bridge, such as this bridge, um, are that there are ratios based on price. Uh, if it's, if it's uh, a certain amount to over to rehabilitate it versus replacing it, then obviously you're going to replace it. If it's the other way, if replacement is a little bit more costly, you can still sometimes replace the bridge. They'll still allow you to replace a historic bridge as long as it falls within a certain ratio. And we determined that during our uh, analysis. Um, we can do some preliminary work. Uh, we will do some preliminary work to determine what kind of permitting requirements there will be, uh, what kind of historical, uh, I, I'm not sure the county's gone through that before, some, some of the historical requirements that are required <coughs> using federal money. Um, so we kind of get we'll, we'll get into that, just get our toes wet, just enough to know what you're going to deal with if you do want to replace it. And if it's, again, if it's worth it. So we look at the total project cost for the county um, to determine which direction we would recommend. We'll make a recommendation. We'll also do um, another requirement for using federal monies that you do an asbestos inspection. Uh, we'll also perform asbestos inspection of the bridge. Um, we figured that since we're out there already standing on the bridge, might as well check if there's any asbestos materials and get those tested if there are. So with that... Uh, I think with that, that amount of field inspection work and that amount of analysis in the office, we can make a good recommendation to the county based on our engineering judgment of whether we replace or rehabilitate the bridge. Okay. Along with that, would you have some of your input? You'll have local testimony, something on the traffic flows, how that's going to affect the time frame of the replacement versus how long it be for a repair, future growth out in that area. Any flooding, so that kind of thing will be 
calling on you guys or Mark or someone in the county that's familiar with that to get that so they can put every, all the pieces together and look at it, the, the whole picture, see how it benefits you guys up in the long run, short term, whatever the best works for you guys. They do have a contract for you today. Uh, if you want to take that contract, uh, look over it. Uh, you know, if, if you want to sign at a later date, if you want to take a look at it, that's fine. Right. Uh, once we get that, point, the signatures are in place, if everything goes fine. Uh, Tom works down here in town quite a bit, so at that point, I can get the contract back then. That's <coughs> one thing. Okay, I would like to take a look at it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 